Have you ever seen a fucking man eat ice cream? <laughs> Doesn't that piss you off? <laughs> when I see people eating ice cream, especially men, or uh, as I should say, people with a dick, or a th those people, they piss me the fuck off. Ice cream is for women and children and Conor McGregor. <laughs> That's the only exceptions that could possibly ever have ice cream. If you have ice cream as a man, you should deserve to be bashed. You do not deserve money and you do not deserve to live in a western country and watch this YouTube video on your fucking phone. I once saw a man eating ice cream. Besides a park, he was sitting down with his fucking legs crossed like this and he was chowing and sucking on his fucking ice cream and it really pissed me off. He was watching the children too. It just proves that people who eat ice cream not only are gay but they're also pedophiles. Why would you possibly as a man trying to get rich, escape the matrix and escape the rat race and become a rich ultra sigma? be eating fucking ice cream. Okay, let me give you a scenario here. I've seen this multiple times alongside my clients that work with me to become big ultra alpha males. So, one of my clients, Raj from Bangladesh, what the hell? was working with his 4 out of 10 girlfriend that he found from the fucking slum and he took her to eat some dirt ice cream, which is a dish they traditionally have Oh, fuck, this is racist. They grab some fucking ice cream, and Mr. Raj bought him and his girlfriend ice cream. And Raj was chowing on his ice cream. I was seeing the GoPro footage. He was he was bare chowing on the ice cream. I I set up Angla Angladesh with Raj, and Mr. Raj was devouring that ice cream. Angladesh, as my actor, just got so pissed off and sent me an email. She wrote me an entire five paragraph email on how Raj is the most insignificant and unattractive person on the fucking planet. And I felt bad for Raj and we decided to work on his ice cream addiction and, and we took him to ice cream therapy where he was locked up inside of a jail cell and he took no more ice cream. 30 days later, he became a sick alpha male and ended up hooking up with the one and only Andrew Tate. My unmatched perspicacity. Just by not having ice cream for 30 days, you could be improving your entire dating life, your entire money life. He literally just Mr. B spawned in him $10,000 worth of fucking money to not be spent on ice cream. Raj ended up becoming the owner of Google and the owner of YouTube and the owner of Microsoft. Yes, one of my clients, just from not eating ice cream, became a Google owner and a YouTube owner. You can Google this. Raj, Raj from Bangladesh that dated Bangladesh who was my client, who I only charged him $69,000 for my How to Be a Sigma course, which you guys can find in the description down below, for only $69,000 a month. Who the fuck doesn't have $69,000 a month to improve their entire life? It's not just some course by a guru. I spent time making this no ice cream course that helped Raj become a Google owner. I also helped Joe, Joe Biden. Joe Biden, remember how he was an ice cream addict? I came down because I heard there was chocolate chip ice cream. Do you remember that clip? I'll show you. So Joe Biden really loves ice cream. And that's why people weren't voting on it for him at the stop. But when I told him for kids to stroke your legs. And it get hot, I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, uh, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down. He ended up stopping liking ice cream and getting kids to stroke his leg hair. Yes, all of that led him to be the president of America, just by not eating fucking ice cream. So if you eat ice cream as a man, you're a bit fucking gay, and comment down below, 
and reach out to my course for $69,000 a month on how to stop fucking eating ice cream and become the president of YouTube. If you enjoyed this fucking garbage nonsense that I just, I, I came up with this idea of self-improvement sat satire, I tried to act as natural as possible, but it, it's my first episode of self-improvement satire, so it didn't go as well as I wanted it to be. I'm going to make a whole entire playlist, so this is going to be the first video inside of my self-improvement satire playlist. I've never seen anyone do it. And I feel like it's a cool idea and hopefully people recognize me as a self-improvement satire guy. Guys, this is all fucking piss and jokes. I, I literally just came up with this idea fucking one day ago and I'm acting on it now. So yeah, this, this was a full on shit show. So don't be pissed off in the comments, but comment down below what the fuck you thought of the idea. See you later.